All right, got a little dad camps adventure weekend going on. Got dad and the big kids camping on the Oregon coast. And for the first time ever, we booked a yurt. <laughs> Pretty excited about it. We're just checking it out. We just got here, just got checked in. Uh, go ahead, come inside, I'll show it to you. They, um, they send you a little code in your email. That's how you get the yurt unlocked. It's got this nice cover to protect you from all the Oregon coast rain. And then step inside here. Fairly roomy. They say it, it sleeps five. Uh, they allow eight to camp in here. And in here we got a futon bed, you know, couch that rolls out to a, a queen size, full, full size maybe, a futon. And then a bunk bed with a twin up top and a full on bottom, I believe, yeah. And, um, and then over here we got a little table, two chairs, comes equipped with uh, a heater and some lights, um, pretty basic, but it also has a uh, 110 outlet available. So I have an additional um, heater hooked up there to it, which is pretty handy. And then goes up to this dome thing which is pretty cool, it has a little crankshaft, so when it gets hot in here in the summertime, you can open the dome and, uh, and vent it from the top. Um, and it's got three windows, which is pretty cool. Uh, and you gotta open the flaps from the outside to be able to let the light in, but it's nice to be able to make it dark too if you want to. Only bummer I feel like is that you cannot darken the dome. There is no cover or um, blind for that, so Camping in here with a baby that needs to nap during the day, um, it's gonna be pretty light in here. So that's probably the only bummer. There might be some way you could rig that if you needed to or something like that, but uh, otherwise, pretty nice. Hardwood floor, pretty clean, and nice to have this nice shelter. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so pretty um, you know, secure feeling. You've got this nice big uh, tent area, so. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get settled in here and uh, I'll let you know what the rest of our plans are for the weekend. We're going down to that passage. What did you guys find? A, a river, a, a, a little, little like, stream show me. down there. Come on. Mm -hmm. uh, you want, it's, it's like very steep and, you want, and I want you to come down here. Oh, this is made for short people. That's right. This is as far as we can go, but we can see it. They come down here. See? They come down here. Whoa. What was that? Awesome. A bird or some type. Hey. Very cool. Oh, secret passageway, huh? Cool little stream. Talk to it. What do you think? Now go explore the sound. You guys excited to explore the coast? No. Yeah. What are you most excited about doing this weekend? Um, just like uh, staying up late. <laughs> yeah. What are you most excited about? Think going down and see if you see Want to catch some crabs this weekend? In someone's territory. You got back. Can you figure out what it is? <laughs> Okay, so I put them back on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Today we'll have corn and 
Oh, yeah. Man, that is a good taco. What do you guys think? It's oh, good too. yeah. Pretty good camping meal? Oh, yeah. Guess what? We have bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. Well, we caught some pretty windy, rainy weather here today. So we're gonna try to do some indoor activities. First up, Sea Lion Caves, America's largest sea cave. We're gonna go check it out. Sea cave success. What'd you guys think? Good. Yeah, it was very fun. 135 sea lions, they said, down there. And it's pretty cool. You go down an elevator, and then there's a little cave down there with a bunch of exhibits and everything. And then there's a viewing area of the cave where all the sea lions are, and the waves are crashing in there. It cost us uh, 40 bucks, I think, to go down for the three of us. So, not cheap, but I'd say it's worth it. Right, guys? Yeah. yeah. All right, on to the next thing.
Give me a thumbs up. So the kids have been asking to go crabbing all day. So we finally figured out how to make it happen. It's a dead fish. Uh, we found this random dock where we could where we could crab. And uh, so we got one little kid uh, snap trap uh, soaking right here. And then we got another one on the line right there, a little tiny little pot uh, with snares on it out in the water. So hopefully we can catch something, show them a crab. Kids are pretty tough. So they're braving the elements because they beg to come crabbing. Isn't that right, guys? Yeah. yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. And yeah. fun? Yeah. Are you warm? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. All right. You think we're gonna catch a crab? Yeah. We don't know. I don't know, but we're having fun anyway, right? Yeah. Yep. Earlier I said, you know, we're just gonna give it a try, and we might catch some, but if nothing else, we're gonna learn something, and we're gonna have fun. And my son says. That's what it's all about, Dad. It's like, yes. Well, we're getting in a quick walk on the beach before we head home today. Crabbing was a bit of a buzz last night. The sea lion kept stealing our bait. And, uh, and then it started raining pretty hard. We had a really rainy night last night. So it was very nice to have the yurt to uh, hunker down in and kids were sad about not having a, a fire pit so uh we watched a, a movie on the tablet aladdin live action highly recommend for those 90s parents out there <laughs> um yeah so you know just had a nice pancake and sausage breakfast this morning and then we're um getting in a walk getting a little seashell hunt in Enjoying the ocean breeze. Beautiful day today. Unfortunately, we gotta head home. But it's a fun trip. Great yurt experience. I love the yurt. <laughs> I highly recommend. I'm definitely gonna be looking for more of those. So um, if you ever get a chance to do some yurt camping in the Pacific Northwest, definitely take advantage of it. That puts a wrap on this one. So stay tuned for more adventures. If this is helpful. Give me a like and uh, subscribe for more. And remember, you got this, Dad. Hello, it's me. I'm gonna show you a tour about yurts. You probably don't know what, where we are, but we're taking a vacation because school's off for the week. So, this is where um, we're staying. You probably know dad camps. I think you do. There's that famous person of yours. This looks like he's packing up. Well, I'm gonna show you the tour right now. As I'm saying, as I was saying about yurts. We'll go on to the yurt last. But first, this. Tall trees, tall. From where I'm standing, it's just right here. I'm right here. They're up there. Amazing. Oh. And here is our secret fort. Where were we? Oh yes. Dad's putting away things. And we're talking about it's just so green. Look at all this greenness. It smells sweet. It's a little fire pit. And inside I'll show you right in here. I'll show you where we are at. Um, inside is our bunk bed. Very good. There's a couch that can fold. There's not much things for packing up. Fire thing. There's a fire thing because there's this little sign that says, prevent fire, do not block heater. Keep All items, clothing, furniture, 
and you have messed up at least three of them away from here. Let's. Oh, where? Yes. 